Ladies and gentlemen, what a privilege and honor it is to be here and talk to you today uh, at this very, very important, memorable event. Uh, a big thank you to Gary Franchi and Restore the Republic for putting it together, and Debbie and Adam. Great voices speaking out, Gary Franchi and the Veterans for Peace, and Adam Kokesh and the music of Jordan Page at this most important day. I've been a lawyer for 35 years, and that usually brings boos and hoots from the crowd as well it should. But I'm going to give you a legal opinion for free. This one won't cost you anything. Here's my legal opinion. We are standing here today in front of the biggest, greatest criminal fraud organization in all of recorded history the Federal Reserve System. <laughs> Biggest fraud in recorded history. And you know, not too far away is the antidote for that fraud, the Jefferson Memorial. <laughs> the words of freedom ring out from Thomas Jefferson in the Declaration of Independence and in Jefferson's magnificent words about central banks there's nothing new about the problem of central banking. There is nothing new about the kind of fraud that this Federal Reserve has been carrying out in this country for the past hundred years. Jefferson wrote about the Federal Reserve, the central bank of the time, and he said that if the bankers get control of our government, and control of our money. They will soon own everything, and the children who we raise will be under the, the stones and under the bridges with nothing. The bankers, everywhere they go through recorded history, have done the same thing to every country that they have come into, including the United States. They bring their debt, they bring their rotten, phony money, and they bankrupt the country just like they're doing to the United States right now. We're living in the time of greatest economic collapse, not just in my lifetime of 62 years, but in all of modern times and probably in all of the history of America. This is the greatest economic collapse. And we're looking at the biggest and most tyrannical government that we have ever seen in this country. It is way beyond anything that we could have imagined even 10 years ago or 20 years ago or 30 years ago. Can you imagine this creation that these people have put together that is destroying America right in front of our eyes? Inconceivable and unacceptable. But you know what the real news is, ladies and gentlemen, on this beautiful Saturday afternoon? The real news is that this is a tremendous time for optimism. We are at the cusp of major, major change, and the change is going to be for the good. This is the moment of freedom. This is exactly the moment that we've needed and that we've been looking for because their system is falling to pieces right in front of our eyes every single day. These people are finished. It's over. It's not ending. It has already ended. They just don't know it yet. You know when a dinosaur dies? If you take a big gun and you shoot a dinosaur right in the heart, and their heart explodes. It takes 15 or 20 minutes for that dinosaur to learn that it's dead. And that's what this thing is. It's already dead, ladies and gentlemen. There is no hope of recovery for the Federal Reserve. There's no hope of recovery for these criminals in Wall, in Wall Street. They are dead. J.P. Morgan Chase is dead. Citigroup is dead. Goldman Sachs is dead. Morgan Stanley is dead. Lehman Brothers is dead. Bear Stearns is dead. Their whole system is finished. They don't have any life anymore.
They just don't know it yet, and they haven't admitted it yet. That's all we're dealing with. Our task is to get them out. And it's not going to take a revolution, and it's not going to take guns or violence or anything else. You know why? Because these criminals, in addition to being despicable in every moral and financial way, are also cowards. Think about who they're actually stealing from when they create their phony money out of thin air as debt. Who are they stealing from? They're stealing from children. They're stealing from our grandchildren. They're stealing from future generations. People that can't fight back. That's who these criminals steal from. They don't stand up to the people who do fight back. And the imperialists over on, at the White House and their neocon Republicans, and I say that as a lifelong Republican, these neocon Republicans, they don't attack countries that can fight back. They do sneak attacks. And they call it preemptive war. These people are cowards. And when we stand up, they will stand down. They will slither away like little cockroaches in the kitchen when you turn the lights on. That's what's going to happen to the Federal Reserve. 